Hey, I'm Randy Vance. I'm on the Newport River near Beaufort, North Carolina, which has been the home of Parker Boats for 32 years. Now, Parker has always had a reputation for being a fisherman's hardcore boat, but this boat has a new twist. We have comfort built on board with the transom seat that folds down out of the transom, double bolsters on the helm seat with flip down armrests, there's a lounge on the front of the console and even lounges on the storage boxes at the bow. The nice thing about the 26cc is that 26 feet is all boat. It's the transom bracket that adds another 30 inches to it and gives you that big boat feel. With the 200 horsepower motors, we broke 50 miles per hour without breaking a sweat. There's a 21 degree dead rise on the hull and that gave us a crisp ride and chop. Add to that the boat's reputation for having super heavy, durable construction, and you have a really soft ride in rough water. Now the fishing cockpit is where all the action happens, and because this boat has such a nice wide beam, you have a really roomy cockpit. When this transom seat's folded away, you've got a padded bolster to fight fish against, Lift the lid up here to your fish box, that's 270 quarts of insulated storage. You've got a 45 gallon live well on the port side transom and this large tuna door here to bring in your fish. Now there's two fish boxes in the floor, those are both insulated and they pump overboard. At the bow you've got two more storage containers that you can use for fish boxes. They're insulated and drain overboard. There's a coffin box option for this boat, and that will be insulated and macerated, or you can leave that storage compartment open and you can put in dive tanks and other storage features. Now the rigging station behind the leaning post has two rod holders in it and a 25 gallon live well. There's also cup holders here. You've got tackle storage on the port and starboard side of that leaning post and there are six rod holders in the gunnels. Now if you get the optional hard top, you also get four rocket launchers on it. This hard top's also rigged to accept outriggers. I like the way the stanchions are built into the console so that they're not bolted to the deck where you can stub your toes on them. There's even an acrylic windshield. One easy step into the console takes you to the deck below where there's access to a toilet, storage, and easy access to your electronics panel. Now because Parker has such a long storied reputation for building a hardcore saltwater fishing boat, you won't find anything on the deck that drains to the bilge. The cup holders and the rod holders drain to the deck. The deck drains overboard and I like the large stainless steel scupper screens over the guttering. It prevents small gear from falling in but lets the deck drain quickly. And of course the anchor locker drains overboard, but look inside. The windlass is standard and Parker has designed a new through stem system for the anchor so it comes out in the stem, not on the deck. It's sleek, durable, and good looking. Now Parker's provided the owner with easy access to any maintenance points on this boat. Lift the hatch in the aft deck and there you can access seacocks and pumps. Even the cleats and the rod holders have access points for future service. The battery switch is conveniently located in the transom walkthrough. The boat comes standard with a raw water washdown on the port side and an optional fresh water shower on the starboard. Parker has a long and strong reputation for building a hardcore fish boat, but the 26cc is an all new direction for them, bringing in plenty of family comfort without one sacrifice in fishability. I'm Randy Vance and this is the Parker 26cc.